Angela, it's Levi Landon, okay? It's, it's Levi Landon. Okay, this is the it's, project. Yeah, well, you can say the projects. But here is the deal. She called me about this situation. And so I'm going to call over to number one. I'm going to call over to the towing company to find out why they are towing people cars. I think it is just absolutely ridiculous, especially um, because there, there are many houses over there. And it's not like it's an apartment complex. I know. Projects or, or whatever you want to call them, but uh, so we're going to make a call over to the towing company on this one because I need to know uh, what are, what are the uh, policies um, and procedures um, when they tow um, cars over there. Hold on, yeah, hold on. We're going to call this towing company because she gave me the number, Angela. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got the number. I I, I just need to know um, what are the policies and uh, procedures. Uh, have you ever had your car towed? And uh, you know, I experienced this over the weekend when they towed my car. But I I knew um, I was you parking. Know the person in your car towed. You said what, Angela? Uh, I said these folks need to know they need to stop pulling these people cars around. Yeah, it it just doesn't make any sense. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's let me let me call them, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Hold on. Let's see. Can we get them on the line? Cause they told her car over the weekend. Hold on. Let's see. Can I call? Them? Early in the morning, talking English yeah. teeth. Hold on. Hold on, Angela. Hold on. Hello. You have reached A one towing and hauling. Please listen carefully. I think she said press one. A one on play. Yeah. Hold on, Angela. Let's see. See. Reasonable music said like the police just ride around this one. Let's see, can we talk to somebody? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? How are you doing? Hey, how are you? How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? So this is Mr. Lee. I'm on with Satellite Radio. We're live on the air. We've got several phone calls. You all tow cars over at the Levi Landing location? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're just yes, one. Right? Okay, well, we're, we've been getting several calls this morning here at the station about you all towing cars over there, in particular one young lady who has called yeah, us yeah, several. several who's, hold on, ma'am. I, I have her on the phone. Hold on. Uh, and we're live. So we're just trying to find out the procedures of pulling cars over at the Levi Landon location. Yes, we have a contract with them, sir. If they park on the street, that's a tow. If they park sideways, that's a tow. If they have no parking pass, that's a tow. It's in a contract. It's a project. Okay, so ma'am, hold on. So let me ask you this. Ma'am, if you're going to speak out of term, I'm going to have to let you go, okay? Because we're live on the air. Ma'am, now, when they park on the I understand you're upset. Ma'am, uh, when they park on the street. I can't talk over loud noise. Okay. 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 Let me mute her real second. But let me ask you this. So when they park on the street, is that is that considered public parking or is that, um, I guess you can. It's automatic tow. Okay. So. Parking on the street is automatic tow in Levi Landing because I know that normally, you know, when you're parking on the street, it's, you know, public street, you know. But in, are you saying. Over there, you can go to the office as well because they have a contract as well. So the office has told you all to tow any cars that is parked on the street in their, in their uh, complex, is what you're saying. Okay, I'm saying if you're over there, sir, you can go to the office and they'll give you all the information. Or you can come to the office and we can talk about it. Well, can, can I give you my email and you can email or you can give me your email and you can get, email me a copy of the contract? I would like to see it. Okay, we don't email. Like I said, sir, my boss is going to ask you to come in and you can talk about it because we're not going to email you the contract because I don't even know who I'm talking to on the phone, but by the way. Okay. Well, I told this is Mr. Lee. I'm with Satellite Radio. We're live on the air. What I'll do is um, I'll see if I can uh, submit a request uh, for a copy of it, but I'm going to contact Levi as well. Oh, and she hung up. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hold on. Let's call Levi Landon. Hold on. Let's.
She hung up, y'all. Let's let's call Lee Valley. I told you this the project. This what they do in all the projects. Well, we're they gonna. I, I just I want to know um, what what is the contract? Let me call because I know she's probably about to call over to uh Levi Landon. Let me call over to their office. Because I know if they're towing cars on a public street, although you're in a apartment complex or whatever, that's still considered if or if it's private property. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Please hold while I try to connect you. Hold on. We're calling the apartment complex. Been forwarded to the voicemail for. Okay, hold on. We're going to call back, y'all. Welcome in, welcome in, y'all, to the afternoon show. We're live with me, of course, my co host, Angela. Uh, we're get, we've got several complaints, and so we're calling uh, the towing company. Uh, we also are calling Levi Land to see if we can obtain a copy of um, this this report. Uh, I want to know because uh, they're just towing people cars. They they okay, are. Let me let me tell you something. Can I say something? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the the people that are calling in live in the projects, mm -hmm. and they know that in the projects you have to have a um some I it gives it's somebody to come and they stay overnight. Mm -hmm. Whoever car is there have to be registered. They get them a parking pass or whatever. So if anybody cars are parked over there and they don't have But what if somebody hold but, up they but, but okay go ahead go ahead Angela go ahead and, um, they they let them come over there uh, mm -hmm. eat, they don't let you allow them to have overnight gifts and they overnight gifts but if I pay. stay there and I pay rent why can't I be allowed to have because you have to because you living in the projects now I think it's wrong for them to tow the cars if the cars are on the streets like right they yeah, because they shouldn't out. they shouldn't do that you know but they shouldn't do that they over there in the apartments and even your own car if you don't have a parking pass and you park on well that, and, and that's the issue angel they've told a residence car who lives there now I, i'm you know let me say this uh, my car was towed of course over the weekend but it wasn't um, I was parked downtown in a in a in a restricted area that I was supposed to be parked, so I had to go and pay to get my car to park. And this is a different situation because we're talking about where uh, Levi Landon is. It's a big kind of you know. Okay, well, let's section eight help them get their car. Okay, okay, let's just call. Let's just call. Let's just try to call Levi Landon office again. Hold on, let's call them again. Please hold while I try to connect you. Let's call. I, I because I want to know, and I would like to see a copy of the lease. I mean, of, of the agreement. You know, I, I, I want to see this, y'all. We're not talking about um, any any. Uh, it's an apartment complex, but it's not apartments. There are many houses um, in this particular area. I just want to mm -hmm. know. Yeah, I just want to know. Been forwarded to the voicemail form. Okay, so leave my office. I'm they leaving. Like pieces, but it's a hold on, hold on, Angel. Let me leave a message. message. When you finish recording, you may hang hold up on. or press the pound key for more options. Hi, this is Mr. Lee with Highwood and I have one satellite radio. I'm calling to speak with someone. We've got several phone calling complaints about the towing in you all's um, apartment complexes. And a lot of the residents have called us. Would someone please give me a phone call back at your earliest convenience at 901-520-1091. That's 901-520-1091. Uh, we're trying to obtain a copy of the policy that you all have or the contract that you all have with A1 Towing. Thanks and have a great day. Bye bye. Uh huh. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a copy of this policy. I I am I'm I am going to get a copy of the, of the policy um, because I need to know. You know, anytime somebody call us and they and they have a story, I'm going to investigate it and I, I'm going to get to the bottom of it because I need a copy of the contract with A one A A one and uh, Levi Landed. Uh, I'm, should we call A one back, Angela? Um, no, leave them people alone. They never told you what okay. they said. Well, they I, you know, hey, I, I, look, I just need to know. I, I need to know. Now, you I, might need to take now, a clue down. I am, ho well, hold, hold, hold on. 
Um, I am going to call. No, I'm going to let this young lady uh, remain anonymous because I got the lady number who called me. Uh, and then I have another young guy who lives over there who called me and said him and his girlfriend's truck got told the morning um, of them trying to go to work. Initially, they thought that somebody had stolen their car like I did when my car got towed, but that wasn't Can the case. Can they call for housing um, uh, authority? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know, Angela. I, you, I just really don't know. But I, I, I do want to, I do want to let y'all know this is something that the afternoon show is going to continue to investigate um, until we get to to the bottom of it. I mean, it's just it's real. But let me ask you this, Angela: Do you think? Because these people are paying rent over there. Um, you know, they have to take their own trash to they the garbage. Paying rent. Well, uh, and, it, and, it, and if that's the case, but do you think they should have to uh, be no, subject that's to... That's why I said they barely paying rent because they can't afford to pay full rent. So how y'all taking their car from them if they can't afford to pay their rent in full? Why would y'all come to keep towing these people's cars and stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's but just... But then a... if they know the rules... Mm-hmm. Then y'all should just go ahead and abide by the rules so y'all don't get y'all vehicles taken from y'all. Exactly. Well, I can assure y'all that uh, we're going to stay on top of this. Um, until I get some answers, I'm going to go on A1, and I need the camp members. If you all who are out there, also, if you all, it's A1 towing in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm going to put this on on all the social sites because I need to know exactly. Ooh, they finna come after um, you. They well, and that's fine because I, because guess what? I need to know. I I, I need to know what's week. going on, and and they can tow my car, but I will sue the hell out of them. I will sue the... My lawyers is ready, Angela. Now, what about your lawyers? My lawyers is ready. Calm down, baby. Calm down. I'm asking a question. We're calling our... Uh, we're you calling... In. Hold, on. Well, well, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm going to make a call to um, our uh, our advisor of the show. Let me uh, get our advisor in here. Um, or what have you. Just, just hold on, Angela. I'm going to get our advisor on the line. Hold on. I want to know what his thoughts and also his um, opinions on this. Also, our advisor do have a new picture on his Instagram. I guess he's trying to be incognito after all the trouble he started on the show last week. So, uh, let me see if I can get our advisor in here. Hello, uh, Darrell. Hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. How about you? Well, Darrell, I'm doing fine. Uh, welcome into the afternoon show. Look, we got a situation. Hey, What's going on, Angela? Yeah, Angela. Yeah, Angela is holding the show down. How with you me. been doing? I've been doing. I've been doing pretty good. I'm still homeless, but I'm holding on. Homeless. <laughs> mm-hmm. She is Damn, not. That's pretty bad. Well, Darrell, I mean, are you going to let her come and stay with you? Because if it's bad, you know, uh, you know how to turn a bad thing to a good thing, Kenny, don't this you? Man got a whole Kenny, well, you do, you, do you even think my wife would go for this? You that know what? Thing. Let me say this. I did just get a cash app. Thank you, Chicken Man. Chicken Man just sent me a two in a few. And what? y'all listen to the cash app. Y'all ain't sending nothing. Thank you, Chicken Man. Chicken Man just donated a two in a few to the afternoon show. Darrell, we got a situation on hand where I've got okay. several phone calls from residents over in this apartment complex called Levi Landon in Memphis where they are towing uh, cars. They're, they're towing the residents' is cars. That, you got your car tag? No, that, no, 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 Darrell, that is not where I got my car towed from. No, no, it's not. Okay. Uh, these people are barely paying rent over there. Uh, some of them pay the full rent over there. And uh, if they part, we talked to A1 Towing. That's the company who has the contract with the apartment complex, and they're telling us that if they don't have a parking pass, if they park on the street, they going to basically they just gonna tow your car. Period. Uh-huh. Now we tried to call the apartment complex, but they've been sending us to a voicemail system, which I left them a voicemail. Yeah, this is the project. Yeah, well, I understand, mm-hmm. but listen, this is the thing, the real. Uh, I got a phone call from yeah. one resident. Who, uh-huh. I got a phone call from one resident who's lived there more than three years and said him and his girlfriend was headed out to work, and they came out parked in a parking. Although they was kind of parked, he said slanted. They still told their car. What are the rules? What did the lady just tell you the rules were? Well, Kennedy, these ain't the worst looking projects. Don't no, they and they're not. They're, 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 that's why I'm saying. Angela want to make it seem like they're such a bad no, 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 one no, no. down. I said and, that to say, I 
I only said that to say because if anybody know the rules when any project, if you have a car over there that does not have a uh, register um, tag with the office and it has a sticker in it or anybody You're subject to tone. Street, they are subject to towing. That is the reason why I said the project. They the project. They are nice looking. I know somebody they live over there. They've been staying over there for ten years. Mm. So basically, what I'm saying is, if you know that this was going to happen, and just like they ran down the rules to you, I'm quite sure they let the residents know as well. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. The yeah. So, yeah. Angela, I guess you work for the towing company. No, so what? Here's my issue. Here's Kenny. Do you stay over there? No, I don't. Do you, does any of your loved ones stay over there? No, not at all. Any of your so why in the fuck does that matter to you? Whoa, whoa, hold up, wait a minute, Darrell, hold up, wait. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, Darrell, listen. If I get a phone call, Darrell, I'm not going to argue with you on this afternoon okay, show. No, I if I get a phone call, Darrell, listen to me. Damn it, if I get a phone call and somebody is concerned about their car being towed, I don't give a damn, I get a call about anything, I'm going to investigate it. I want a copy of the policy from the you office. I'm, the and, Angela, I'm I'm gonna drop you. I'm gonna drop you from the show. I'm gonna drop you from the show. We got listen. These people have contacted me more than one resident. They barely can pay their rent, and the hell these folks gonna be towing their cars. I don't agree with it. It's wrong. Okay, so let me ask you this, Kenny. If they can barely pay their rent. You would think they would make So sure why would the apartment complex listen, have a contract listen, listen. with a towing listen, company? Kenny, let me explain. Let, look, let me explain. Kenny, if I'm barely making it month to month paying my rent, the easiest thing that is for me to do is to ensure that I, I have a parking pass and that I am parking where I'm supposed to park. Now, if somebody is in my space, I'm gonna contact the office and get they shit towed. But, but Joel, the- what if you? But listen. They are even towing visitors parking. Suppose it's over the weekend and you cannot get a parking pass. She said, "If you park on the street, they are going to tow you." Okay, so why don't you tell the visitor, "Hey, yeah, that's your job to tell your police. Hey, look, bitch, they're gonna tow your car." Okay, you know what? I'm calling the office back. Hold on. I am calling Leaf I landed. I'm calling the office. Please we go call while I oh, shit. Third call to Leaf I landed, y'all. We can't get him on the phone. They pulling something I already called him. You know, this, shit. this is ridiculous. Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for Levi Office. Okay, you know what? I'm sending them an email right now. I- I'm going to send them an email in just a minute. Uh, we're going to, con- Darrell, I'm not giving up. I'm going to continue to investigate because these people want answers. Okay. And-, and-, and I got to give them answers because, Darrell, here is the deal. Why are you towing my car when I live over there? These residents are concerned. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. Here's my thing, Kenny. It's two sides of every story. No, I do they agree. I do. Coming out there, they ain't just coming out there just towing cars for the hell of it. But you know, well, that's what they do when they want money. You got a part. You got Kenny, some toy companies that is money hungry. Let me ask you a question. If let, let, let me just ask you a question because I know that if you don't agree with me, you you would threaten to drop me. But let me ask you a question. <laughs> um. If you live somewhere and you've been there three years and you know for a fact that they over there doing, let's say they over there doing petty stuff, ain't you gonna make sure you wipe? Ain't you gonna make sure you wipe your ass with it? What are you right now? Let me say this. My heart goes out to the young lady who reached out to me and also to the young man who cars uh, one of them recently got towed. Now, y'all, unfortunately, I got my car back. My car was not towed from over in the area. But Unfortunately, uh, no, that's fortunate. Fortunately, I got my car back. Darrell, you know what I'm trying to say, damn it. Fortunately, y'all, I got my car back. Unfortunately, they did not get their car back. Uh, okay. One of the callers did not get their car back. So, Why didn't they get uh, their car back? Because well, Darrell, do you, look, look, I've already called A1 Towing. 
And the young lady said that. What to be doing is making a GoFundMe for them. You know what? Uh, Chicken Man, thank you for your uh, donation to the afternoon show. Um, I do appreciate you. You know what, Jarell and Angela? I'm going to tell y'all something. I was show I was show I was show hey for y'all to work in anybody's leasing office because if I was the owner if I was the owner y'all would be fired on the first day on the first day on the first day. Well, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. And I would hope that you stayed in them very apartments that I managed, bitch. Because you know what, you would get an eviction notice on the first day. On the first day, because I'm sure in some sort of fashion or way, you going to violate some rule, and I am going to put your big ass up out of Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. uh-uh. Durell, you know Durell, what? Durell, uh-uh, Durell, uh-uh. I can't. You know what, Durell? That's it. You gone. That's it, Durell. You out of here. You out of here, Durell. You out of here, Durell. That's it. I'm not going to tolerate this foolishness on this afternoon show with you. I'm not doing it. Well, my, look, I'm concerned. Now, can it? Because, you know, Saturday I was working an event. I was wanting to ask you what happened with your truck. Well, Darrell, uh, th- that's a different story from a different day. I parked in an area that I know I was not supposed to be parking. There is a difference. Mm. I know I was not supposed to be parking there. There was a big-ass sign that said, we'll be towed. I took a chance. I had enough time. Don't you, Darrell, don't, hey, now listen. No, I'm asking you, did you think you had, I done that before. Well, yeah, I did, Darrell, I did thought I had enough time, you know, because I'm like, ain't nobody out here. I'm going here and come right out. But I was in there a little bit longer than I expected. And, and, and nevertheless, they told my vehicle. I got my vehicle it's a out. perfect example and, what you just said. You, you knew know, that you was parked in the wrong spot. Lord B, oh, you, Lord, be a finger hang so up on Angela. Lord, be a finger and hang up on Angela. Lord, be a finger and hang up on Angela. Let me be quiet, baby, because he don't. Oh, yeah, Lord. You, know how yeah. that is. you can't but even answer a question. You know, y'all can host the show. I'm just finna go. Because at this point, you know. Kenny. Uh, uh, Man, Kenny, guess what? I went to uh, this breakfast spot and I got me a pancake the size of your motherfucking back this morning. Mm. And I'm finna eat this motherfucker, boy. Hey, Kenny. Kenny. You know what? <laughs> Kenny. Lord, let me I, ask you a question. What? Because I'm, direct, let me, I'm let me, three minutes about to go off on you. I'm trying to hold. Mac, oh Lord, give me strength. You ain't doing a good job. Let me. Ask, so I, I, I want to ask you something. Well, go ahead, Darrell. Go ahead. Where were you parked at over the weekend? L- that uh, you got told. I parked in an area. In an alley. Again, I, no, 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 it wasn't. Okay, so where I parked at Darrell, it was supposed to be for some Grizzly players. I'm gonna say that much. And I knew I wasn't a Grizzly player. Uh-huh. I knew I wasn't a Grizzly staff member, and um, okay, I, that so, explains it. No, no, you ain't got to ask any more questions. Okay, no more right, explanation. So. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what you were doing. You were turning tricks, bitch. What you the? You're not good, bad, Darrell. You, you know what? And then dead is, and they came and told your shit. You should have been a little faster, bitch. Oh, I'm done. Get him up out of here, Angela. Get him up out of here. Get him up out of here, Angela. Get Durell up out of here right now. He got to go. Kenny, calm down. It's okay. Oh, no. I, you know what? I, I'm done. I, you know what? He Okay. You know what? Y'all, tonight... It's a show you don't want to miss, y'all. We'll see you all tonight for a Let's Talk, y'all. We're going to continue the conversation. And guess what? You all can join in on the conversation. We'll be there between 8 and 8.30 tonight. Certainly, it's a show you do not want to miss. Angela, and unfortunately, I got to call Darrell's name. We want to thank you all. Hold on, hold on, Angela, hold on. Uh, hello, caller, Kenny. welcome. What, Darrell? Kenny. What? Is, I, I got one question. It, it, it. Please don't take any offense to this. So, 
You saw the sign that says for Grizz and the players. I know it said uh, over the weekend. No, it we said Grizz and staff. It said staff. It said oh, staff. You thought they said Grizz and Bear, and that's why you bought them? What? Bad Darrell, Bad Darrell. See what I'm saying, y'all? Do y'all see what I'm saying? I, you know, Sunshine, I need you to uh, inbox me. I heard you was still in the Bluff City, y'all. Hey, look, y'all, tonight I got to go. See, Darrell ain't right, y'all. Darrell is not right, and he is not meant to be messed with. Oh, tonight, y'all, it's a show you do not want to miss. Let's talk, y'all. We're going to finish the conversation up, and you all can get in on the conversation, y'all. Bye, y'all. Have a safe and wonderful rest of your evening.